the Louisiana Gulf Coast, one of the nation's leading oyster producers, has fallen on hard times. We've never seen it before like this. Third generation fisherman Randy Slavich nets empty oyster shells in the usually bountiful Lake Machias. Most concerning is the lack of new oyster larvae. It's not coming back on the shells that are left down there on the ground that's since the spill. Whether the oil spill is a cause is still under review by the Natural Resource Damage Assessment. The oyster industry was already facing challenges before BP's Macondo well blew wild in 2010. Reefs were still recovering from a series of hurricanes and two straight years of oyster killing, freshwater flooding. It's almost been a perfect storm of negative events that have led to this situation. BP maintains the spill was not a factor, citing reports that no oil was detected on oyster beds. The big unanswered question is, did the spill have some effect on the larval stages in the water column? And that's really not known yet. As the wait for answers continues, a solution catching in Louisiana is the planting of new hard surfaces, like crumbled concrete, for young oysters to attach. An area Slavich planted not long after the spill is starting to show signs of life and giving hope for future harvests. Stacy Plaisance, Associated Press, Hopedale, Louisiana.